welcome everyone to another vlog. We just took this with them for a drive. Now we're putting it up on stands, pulling the bonnet off, draining everything out, draining fuel pump. So um, we'll crack into it, eh? Here she is, reversed in. Um, yeah. It's gonna be a good one. I'm not sure where I'm gonna start actually, but yeah, need to put the car up, need to take the bonnet off, need to drain coolant and water because I want to take hot side off and it's got oil and coolant in it and fuel pump and injectors and fuck knows we might end up taking the head we'll just start taking shit apart hopefully it'll run by the end of this year if not 2020 I don't know you guys will come along for the ride and find out with me so I lied first thing we're gonna do is take the bonnet off which I actually did with my old man well he had two seconds so bonnet's on the roof so now I'm gonna drain the oil so I don't know where we got up to yesterday, it's now Monday, finished work, I need to film some videos this week for you guys because I'm going away this weekend, Waiheke, probably when you guys will be watching this actually, so, <sighs> stress, I need to do th three videos this week, so this is going to be one, I need to film two more, so um, what we're going to do is I need to drain the floors out of this thing, so we're going to drain the radiator, um, right here, um, we're going to maybe drain the oil, might leave the oil in for now. I don't think there'll be much come out of the turbo side. It should be oil in the sump. Um, and I'm going to remove all the intercooler piping and just free up some space. That's probably all you guys will see in this video. Um, next video though, turbo side off probably. Um, video after that will either be fuel pump or intake side. Um, and obviously exhaust is going to come off when we do the turbo. So that's what you guys can expect to see in the next couple of videos. Um, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to pull the head and do head gasket and studs. Um, to be honest, I probably will. But that's going to delay the build a lot for you guys, so... I don't know, I'll have to see how I'm doing financially after I sell some of the shit off this that we're not going to be using. So, um... Yeah, anyway, let's crack into it. Let's uh, start dripping this water out. So I drained the water. Sorry I didn't film that, but we had nothing to plan. Um, had this bloody contraption going on here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Bit of a funnel going into there, but... It ended up just fucking pissing everywhere all over the floor, so now the floor's all wet, but at least the water's out. Helpful tint, a hint. You need airflow, so take this off, water pisses out. So um, now, the best way to do this, I might just sit you guys up there and um, just do that YouTube time lapse thing, and you guys can just time lapse me watching, uh, watching me take this shit off. And then might just go over it and then bing bang bada boom bob's your uncle and it's done so we'll set that up and we'll do that thing.
notes for you guys. Um, got this side off mainly. Need to get this pipe out, but it's connected down there. Show you where. Um, and this pipe is fucking tight, so I ended up taking out the battery. Um, it's hard up against here. Luckily, the old owner put some rubber around here. I'll get the flashlight so you guys can actually see. But yeah, need to um, get this pipe out, but it's down here, so I might as well stop the time lapse and disconnect those and then do that other one and then get all that stuff out um this video is well everything's coming along a bit faster than i thought so might do a little bit more on this video we'll just decide see how i'm going for time um but yeah get the flashlight out and i'll show you how to get these pipes here because they can be a bit tricky um just the way that they're made like you kind of need to feed them in a like good angle so we'll try to do that try to get them out clear up some space chuck it all on the boot and yeah, get it ready for the hot side to come off. So just there you can see I've got my two joiners, so one, two. So I just need to undo both of these um, and wiggle them out. And yeah, I could leave this one on really, like my cuzzy tape. Like I showed you guys in this one of the video to make it black because I didn't have any black joiners for there. But anyway, get all this shit out. Oh fuck, this isn't even secure. What the fuck? Anyway. Um, yeah, get this out, pull that pipe out, so I'll uh, loosen these off and then I'll put you back up there so you guys can see me how I wiggle this pipe. So now you can see I've got this pipe out, a um, bit of a wiggle. This is that rubber I was talking about. So the battery hole here. Um, if I was smart, I'd relocate the battery in the boot, but fuck. Maybe, might have to ask uh, old Nick to help me with that one. I haven't done it before. It seems pretty simple, I guess. Um, you just ground the battery in the boot, but running the power cable and splicing it nicely into all this stuff is the key. So might get a hand from him. See what he reckons. Um, the other thing that's good about taking this piping off is now I can see that when I deleted my blow valve, I had put this in for no reason at all. Um, my boost runs straight from the intercooler piping down the bottom, which is this line here. Um, and then this feeds my brake booster, I believe. Yeah, brake booster. And then um, yeah, so this is nothing at all. This is my capped valve. Um, you guys can see there from when we deleted my carbon canister. Um, so basically, we can just fucking take this end off here and run it straight into there. If the pipe's big enough. Should be. Um, and that's feeding our... What the fuck, this is boost. I'm guessing, and I'm guessing the other one runs inside for the pillar gauge, so I'm just going to whip this off and delete this and just run that straight to there. Come on. Come on, 
you bastard. Just like that. So there we go. Um, there's our line there, runs straight into this boost thing. And this is no longer. I'm gonna hold on to this again because I never know when I might need this length and this T. So I'm just gonna put a couple cable ties around there now, just to hold them on a bit better. Um, and yeah, that's done. Then we're just gonna pull out this side right here. Hopefully you guys can pick this up, which you can. A couple of small cable ties, one each for over here, so I'll set you guys up and put these on. like that nice and tight okay. side cutter snap this off like that all done so another good thing is um, when we actually pull all this intake and stuff side off, um, I should, can actually clean up a lot of this. So like you can see that a lot of things have just been run on this car and it's just like mucky and all over the place. Um, might do a bit of a Jimmy Oaks, I know you guys probably watch him as well, and try tuck as much stuff as we can. So might put some of this wiring loom um, and extend it and try to run it a bit further down in the manifold so that way you can't really see it. It'll just sort of creep up and plug in. Kind of looks a bit ugly, I'm not really a fan, so I might try to extend some of these. I actually have the DE loom from my 180 down over there somewhere, um, so that'll be handy to extend this. But anyway, back onto subject. Um, this pipe out, this one here, and then that'll be it for today's video. Um, and then we'll, and the next one you guys will see, we'll pull the hot side. Um, we'll get a wee bit more interesting than just pulling the intercooler piping. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to be in Waiheke this weekend, so I need to get three videos out. Three videos filmed during the week after work, which is annoying, but it is what it is. So you guys can watch this week and next week. So I'm doing it for you guys, so I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, anyway, we'll pull this out and we'll carry on. Up here, the last one holding it in will be that 11 by the look. So loosen that off and then we'll feed them through um, one way or another. Um, back down here or up there. And then we've got all our piping out of the way. Um, probably need to take off a few other things, but yeah, we'll do that in the next lot of videos. But yeah, get everything out of the way, so that way we're basically just left with a long block um, ready to put a bigger hot side on. So, we'll get this off. So here's a bit of an overview of everything, all the piping's done and gone. Um, fuck, looking at it, I really need to take this out. <sighs> Missions. Um, but if we're going to do the head gasket and stuff, this needs to come out, so. I'll pull the hot side off and I'll think about it for the next week. Um, so yeah, next video, hot side. Video after that, we'll do the fuel pump. 
because that's going to be a bit of a mish. Um, if you guys don't own an S14, S15, the fuel pump is under the rear seat kind of and you have to like put your hand in the tank to get it. It's a pain in the ass, so yeah. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you guys understand and we'll catch you in the next video.